Hey everyone, Black AI Cole here, and today we're going to go over Lumia Stream's arguably most powerful feature, variables. Variables can be used all throughout Lumia Stream in various ways. You can have text that's used through your various actions that can be updated in one place, say for a URL. You could keep track of your latest followers and allow chat to even prompt to see your latest follower count, maybe on Twitter or Twitch or wherever. You could even pull in your last WooCommerce order, for instance. We also have variable functions where you can even read from a file from your local computer, read from a URL that just gets a get request. You can randomly roll a dice, choose from different selections collections and so on and so forth. Let's jump right in. So to begin, let's start by going over to the variables on the sidebar. You'll see all the different variables you can use. So as I mentioned earlier, you can look at your current viewer count, your current viewers, your followers. Uh, you know, you even have your session subscriber count, for instance, if you just want to keep track of how many you got for just that stream, you can read from a file. These are variable functions, read URL, random, random input selection. You can get your current song that you're playing on Spotify. You could get the URL, uh, same for VLC. Uh, you know, you have various options for Twitter, WooCommerce, and you get the idea. There's just a lot that you can choose from with your variables. One very important thing is that you can add a custom variable. Now this variable can be used all throughout the app. So I'm gonna call this tut. I'm gonna give it the description of our tutorial and I'll give it a value just for you know, I'll refresh this and now this variable has been added to our variables. So now if we if we add a chat command, let's say we want to get our current, you know, viewer count. So we will go to so we'll go to chatbot and now we'll have a variable and we'll erase all of this and just put we'll put Twitch current viewer count. We'll name this command. We'll call it views. We'll say no light change and then we'll skip the queue so that chat can always trigger this. Now I can press apply, refresh, and now I can go to my Twitch channel. Now I can put exclamation point views and it'll tell me how many views I got. It just says four. But we can also, you know, have something that prompts for that custom variable that we just set. So if I go back to chatbot, then I can also use my custom variable. It's gonna show up at the bottom here, tut, and now I can say, this is my variable. And then I can press apply, refresh, and let's try it out again. So we do views and I'll say, this is my variable testing. And of course, if I update that variable, I say, wow, you don't have to refresh when you update a variable views. And I'll say, this is my variable. Wow. Now that's just one way of using variable. That's just the bare minimum. Let's say you wanted to allow a mod to update our variable. So we'll call this mod var. We'll select no light change dynamic options, skip queue. And now we'll use a Lumia action, which is in another tutorial that we'll link to down below. So you can put up, update variable. You can choose your custom variable. So I have a tut variable. And now I can take in the user's message. This is another variable. So I'm using a variable to update a variable. So if you look at your variables right here, since this is a chat command, you'll see the message right here. You could even update the variable for the last username. So for instance, so we'll show like how to use a chat match to update your variable to the last person who just chatted. So I'll put add Lumia. Oh, I didn't select my user levels. Let me make sure my user level is only for my mods as well as myself, press apply, refresh. And now let's do mod var, I know what you mean. So I'll update that. And now if I go to my variables, you'll see that tut updated, I know what you mean. And it could even do it, you know, we can even look at it live. So I'll put hi there and you've seen it update automatically very fast and it says hi there. So now we have a way to update variables through Lumia actions directly through Lumia stream. You can tie this Twitch points switch extensions, you know, chat commands, alerts, or anything else you need to tie it to. Uh, but we also have a way to update it with our API. You'll, you can check that out our developer documentation that'll be linked down below. We'll just show one last way of how to read a file from your local storage and how to send it back to chat. So say another app is updating a file and you want to read that through chat. We can make a command called readme. I'll choose no light change again, dynamic options, skip Q. And then I'll have a chat bot that just is going to use the variable function that I mentioned earlier. The variable function that we're going to use is read file. So I can go to C colon slash user slash desktop slash file dot text. Now that's not the correct location. So I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to create a new text file. And I'm just going to call this testing. If I right click it and press properties, you'll see the location right here. Just copy that, head to Lumia stream and we'll replace this. 
with this and we'll say testing.txt. So let's put something in here, in here, save it, close that. And now we'll try this out. So we call this readme and we'll go to our Twitch chat and say readme. So it's in the text that it found. We could also update this one more time just to make sure it's working. Is it working? And I can put readme again and you see, took from the text is it working and just to show a read url function we'll show that read url i'm gonna give this no light change again and i'm gonna delete that and i'm gonna put a read url so by default we have a test url that you can test things out at so url dash test we'll apply this so now if i just put read url it would go and grab the git request from our server and say hello world so those are just a very few ideas in almost every tutorial, we're gonna use a variable. So you wanna get familiar with variables and understand how to use them. Just make sure you always have your parentheses, two open parentheses and two closed parentheses surrounding your variable. We have variable functions, custom variables, and then just regular system variables that can be edited. Each type will ha also have its own variable. So chat command has username, user ID, command message, raw message, it has user color, and you know, certain things like that. Whereas Twitch points is going to have you know, different things like prompt. It's gonna have how many points were used for that redemption, the title of the redemption, and a few other things versus chat commands and Twitch extensions will obviously have something else as well. But you get the idea. Hopefully this gets you a lot more comfortable with variables and we hope you all have a luminous day.